Hey, we are here at the Eccles Theater in Salt Lake City for opening night of Hamilton. <laughs> uh, this is a show we've seen before. We saw this in New York. We saw it in the fall, right before it kind of exploded. Uh, pretty cool when yeah. we got to see it. We, the original cast was still there and they just came out and talked to us. We were one of like five people that stage doored. So great. Um, it was really neat before it was cool. Yeah. Uh, so it's cool to have this in Salt Lake City. So Hamilton is about the $10 founding father Without a father. Without a father. <laughs> Got a lot father well, by being a lot smarter by being a self-starter at 14. <laughs> We're gonna he stop really pretending smart. like we can rap because we can't. No. Uh, but no, this story is the story of Alexander Hamilton, the nation's first treasurer secretary. Yeah. You know, it's actually really interesting. Lin-Manuel Miranda was on vacation and was just reading a book. Honestly, one of those really thick biographies that my dad reads that I think would be really boring actually turned into this really awesome show. <laughs> Originally, it started out as the idea of a mixtape and he just played around with it. Uh, there's a lot of correlation people say between Lin-Manuel and Alexander Hamilton about, you know, riding through things and just kind of nonstop and relentless. And it's, it's a national phenomenon. <laughs> it's crazy. Hamilton has gone worldwide now. And it's, I think it's just, it's so different than anything that's ever been made before. Is it fair to say biggest musical of all time? We'll check facts Ooh, on that's that. Hard, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's always kind of fun seeing a show for the second time because I kind of know what to expect a little bit. Me too. I mean, when we saw this before, we didn't know anything about it. Um, now we know all the lyrics. Uh, yeah. So instead of trying to figure out what they're saying, we'll be able to watch what's going on. Uh, so pretty excited. Yeah. We're going to show you around the Echoes Theater and then head in. All right, so we head to the heath um, before the last song at Sorry the Echoes. To everybody at Sorry the to everyone at the theater. Um, they started late because of security, and then it just our flight got bumped up. It was yeah. awful, but uh, we ran, ran like crazy, got an Uber, <laughs> ran through security. So thank you to everyone yes. and everyone who let us go through. And then uh, we just made it to our seats, and we are just about to head out to New believe. York City. Woo. Crazy, crazy night. More to come. All right, we're here at JFK. We're just uh, taking the air tram over here to the subway. Um, I'm barely awake. <laughs> barely awake. We're gonna jump on the subway and head over to Rachel's. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we are here, not in the basement, different brick wall, yeah. uh, but uh, in Harlem. Um, we're here to see the Hamilton sites, honestly. Yeah. We were inspired by the show and want to come check them out, so we'll show you those sites now. Yeah, let's go. Now. All right, so we are here in Weehawken. Guns drawn, <laughs> not at dawn. No, didn't break my gun, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, we're here at the Dueling Ground Memorial here in Weehawken. Uh, just kind of this hollowed ground of where it was. Um, there's a couple different memorial things that they've got here. They have the very rock that they uh, placed Hamilton's head on after he was shot. Uh, pretty cool to see that it's inscribed with this cool inscription um, written by Aaron Burr. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about this, like this has probably been here for years and years and I bet you their visitors have like spiked since this show came out. <laughs> right? I mean, how many times have we been and not even know this was a thing? So, yeah. so cool to see what Hamilton has done yeah. for uh, history. Uh, we're going to show you around a little bit. Alright, so we are now down by Wall Street area at the Trinity Church. Uh, this is where many of the people from Hamilton are buried. Yeah, it was really cool. We were planning on just coming to see Alexander Hamilton's grave. We were just wandering around and ran into Angelica Skyler's grave and uh, Hercules Mulligan. It's a really cool place. And Eliza. Don't forget yes, Eliza. Yes, Eliza. Eliza. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you around.
Hey, so we are here at the Hamilton Grange. This is actually a national and this is Hamilton's original house. Really cool. They had some um, pieces that were directly from the Hamiltons. Most of it is reproductions, but my favorite was Angelica's piano. Yeah. So cool. It I could just amazing. imagine her singing at that piano. Right. It was amazing. Uh, pretty cool. This is in its original location. It's actually moved. This is the third location that it's been in, but it's all still resting on land that Hamilton owned. Yeah, and you know, anybody could just come here and go take a tour. We just literally uh, walk, was able to walk right in. It was like 15 minutes. Come check it out. It's up here in Harlem, Hamilton Heights. Pretty awesome, right? So wonderful to check those out and to really kind of get into the history of it. It's one thing I love about this show is it's inspired us to do that. Let's get to Let's it. Let's talk it. Okay, my, well, I've got a lot of favorites, so honestly it was really hard to just do two. I really enjoyed Eliza. Her voice was so clear and pretty, and I don't know about you, I love the song Burn and just the emotion that she has. Um, she was fantastic. Uh, number two for me, I loved Hercules Mulligan. Fergie, you made me laugh over and over and over again, and just the mannerisms that he had. Um, but then one really thing, unique thing about him that I liked, in the second act, he flips to James Madison, who's a completely different character. He's very serious and, and doesn't really say much. And it was amazing. It, it really felt like it was a completely different actor on stage from the first act to the second act. Definitely. Um, for me, my number one was, uh, when we saw this before, we saw it before the cast album had come out. We went in completely blind, and we spent the entire show, and I kid you not, I was like this. <laughs> the entire time, just listening to every word. I mean, this is like the spoken word, right? This is like straight up Shakespeare. I mean, every single line of dialogue and the story unfolds in this, you know, this rap music style, and I loved it, but because of that, I didn't, get to take in some of the set and some of the choreography. And this second time around, I really got a chance to see that. And because I knew the music really well, really well, um, I got a chance to really watch the choreography. Every single time they come out with a new song, um, every single piece of choreography is layered one upon the other. And if one thing doesn't happen, the next thing gets in the way. I mean, there's a lot of precision in this choreography. Uh, for me, my number two was Madison and Jefferson. I just love this duo. I love their dynamic. I love the comedy. I love their, you know, when they really sing and harmonize together. I just really love the duo. You don't have the votes. <laughs> they were wonderful, though. Um, just such personality. You could tell that, you know, they were, they have to be friends off the stage and things like that because they were just in sync. I mean, there's this part where they're walking and they even like stoop together all of a sudden. And I don't know, a lot of that can be planned and it's fun to watch, but it takes it to a whole nother level when they're in sync as much as they were. Yeah. Definitely. What's your opportunity? My opportunity, I honestly think it's kind of more of an opportunity for the audience. You know, the original Broadway cast is great. And this cast here in Salt Lake City, some of them honestly just kind of mimicked the Broadway cast and some did well, some didn't. Um, and others, I loved how they changed it and made the role their own. And so, you know, yeah, for some of those people who kind of mimicked it but didn't hit the mark, that was kind of the opportunity for me. But the opportunity for the viewer from Salt Lake City is to go in with an open mind because I love how these actors make it their own. Uh, for me, my opportunity um, was in a lot of the big, you know, narrative parts of the show. Um, it's told through the Aaron Burr character. And there were many times in his big songs and his, you know, big chances to belt, things like that, that I kind of lost his voice in the chorus. And I don't know if this was a sound mixing thing or if this was, you know, him being quiet or whatever it was, but... Or that we sit in the front and it might not sound so great there. <laughs> right, sometimes when you're in the front row you miss um, some of the audio because the, the speakers are actually projected at the rest of the you know, theater, but... Um, for me, I was just really waiting for, you know, those really big belty moments and wait for it or the room where it happens or a couple of those others and I really lost his voice in the chorus, so whatever that was, um, that was a big opportunity for me. I really wanted to yeah. hear those, but... Yeah. 
You know, the other thing I think is amazing about this show, it's kind of taken the story of our founding fathers now, like, worldwide. And not only that, like, I'm sorry, but I didn't love studying history when I was a kid. And you hear all these kids that are listening to Hamilton every single day, and they know all about the $10 founding father without a father. It's true. Even senators and multiple people in very high ranking just dove into this show and loved it. But it's become this worldwide phenomenon. It's awesome to see a piece of musical history explode. Yeah. We loved it. Go see it if you can. Go see it if you can.